it's Dordy here. Today I'm gonna go through my February favorites, mostly fiber arts related things, knitting, um, and just things that I've been loving. Starting with this knit top down beanie, um, I made this on my double pointed needles, which is new for me, and I made it with some secondhand yarn that I got from a thrift store. And it's the cutest little thing with the ties. Um, I added these charms onto them, which I've used like beads before in knitting, but never really nice, like, you know, metal charms. Um, they have like little ladies on them and they're so, so cute. Um, I think they make like a really nice, like, uh, detail, like addition to the piece. I love them so much. When I was filming this video, I was trying to think of ways to really just slow down and kind of become more present with my process. I've been feeling a like I've been rushing myself through documenting things for my pieces lately and today, like the day I was filming this, I was just like, let's just slow down and think about like how do you want to shoot each piece? Like how do you want to show off every piece um, in an artistic and like creative way? And I found this box of Ellos, and I don't know if you guys like played with Ellos as a kid, but I did, and I haven't seen them in so long. So I got them out um, from this little storage area in the house, and it was kind of like nostalgic and really like mindful and lovely to just like set up <laughs> this Ello set um, to put my beanie in. Um, I thought it just kind of gave like this really cute feel to it because the beanie's kind of like, you know, kid-like. Um, but when I was doing it, it just reminded me of like being a kid and um, just playing and just like getting our hands into things and just doing it for that reason. Um, and so I was kind of just trying to channel that like while I was doing this, not even purposely, it just ended up being channeled and it felt so nice. Um, so I made this like cute little set. <laughs> for my beanie and her charms and yeah I just I think there's something to be said about just reconnecting to your imagination and playing and then you can really start finding like an artistic vision or reconnect with like the creative approach that I really want to keep taking and prioritizing for my pieces yeah so this was something that I'm trying to really reconnect with lately. I've also been doing it like through journaling. When I was, when I journaled as a kid, I used to um, collect things and stick them in the pages and stuff. So I've been doing more of that lately too, just getting back to being a, to being a kid. Double pointed needles. These have changed my entire life. They're really helpful for knitting like small circumferences, like sleeve cuffs or socks or leg warmers I've made some leg warmers with them but I did not realize that you could do this entire technique with them which is making a top-down beanie like the first one I showed you um, I did not know you could do that I started with crochet hats and that's how you make crochet hats from the top down I didn't realize that you could knit like that and so <laughs> I've been doing that with the um, double pointed needles and it is so fun and it, they look so cute. Um, the increasing for the top of a beanie is so much easier than decreasing for me. I've made another beanie from the bottom up and this is just so much more satisfying because it comes together from the start. You can try it on as you go. I'm just obsessed. Um, so I'm making a new one <laughs> and I'm going to include like a few top down hats in my next drop which will be April 1st, if anyone's interested. Um, so a month until I drop a lot of new stuff, and you bet I'm going to be putting a fuck ton of hats in there because I'm absolutely loving the double-pointed needles. They're a little bit... They're a little bit confusing, like, un uncomfortable at the beginning on your hands, like, it can be really fiddly, but once you get into a f the first few rows, it finally starts, like, becoming more stable. They kind of fly around at the start a little bit, um, but yeah, it gets more comfy, so it's like push through the first few rows and then 
You're golden. <laughs> um, okay. Next is probably the most fun I've had in ages. <laughs> My sister came around on the weekend and I had like such an amazing day. It really felt like we were teenagers again, just like just messing around and like being silly and kind of just like re again reconnecting with that like childhood feeling of just like enjoying things and, and not being so serious all the time. So yeah, this was again such an amazing and lovely way to like connect with documenting my pieces and just bringing like a a high like a larger visual side to it that I find really important. <laughs> okay, now bolt to your street. Keep going. Keep going. All the way to the end. February has been the first month that I've been making garments again. Uh, I made another sweater, which is in my last video. Um, I'll link it in at the top here. But these are some sleeves that I made, a little bolero, um, also for the drop. But I had such a joyful time making these because the colours... I just kind of like collected a bunch of colours and just mashed them together and some textural stuff and I haven't really played around like that in a while. I also did them on 8mm needles so they went really quickly which is just lovely because <laughs> it's I've been using small needles. I haven't used anything bigger than 6mm in so long. For these I just I flew through them and it was so satisfying. Um, it's a mix of wool and acrylic. They're so comfy, I'm obsessed with them, and it's really nice to be making big pieces again. Um, I really want to make more shrugs, boleros, whatever you want to call them. Okay, my last one is not fiber arts related, but it has been kind of getting me through my life, which is Cozy Grove. And it's a Switch game that is essentially Animal Crossing 2.0, but this might be a hot take, but I think it's better than Animal Crossing. It's like, you you have like the same thing where you're harvesting and like building up your island and shit, but it is like so much more engaging to me. You do quests for little like spirit bears and you like basically are like, I don't know, releasing them from the spirit land or some shit. I'm not actually sure what you're doing, but um, you go on quests and adventures for them and like collect things and find them things for them and um, basically just like, unlock their memories and stuff and it's so much more engaging and I love it so much more than Animal Crossing. It's also independent so it's really cheap um, and not extortionate like Animal Crossing is. I would really recommend this game, it's so relaxing. I've been playing it if I, needed, if I need to get to sleep or if I'm anxious or if I need to relax. It's like genuinely relaxing. That is it for my February favourites. I really love making these videos. I made one for January, which you can go and watch if you like. I'm going to make one every month. It's a really nice way to reflect on what I loved, what maybe I didn't like, what I want to do more of, um, set some goals for the next month and everything, um, to make sure I'm like evolving and progressing and connecting with my practice more. Um, please let me know in the comments what your February favourites were. I would love to know. And if any of the things that I've mentioned are your favourites, let me know and we can gush over them. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and want to see more. Um, turn on the notifications bell so you know when I post. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!